All right. I think everything's ready to go. We go over here. Let's cut out this music. Re-enable the game. Oh, right, I have to unmute up myself too. I, as soon as I opened this demo, I was not prepared for the music. There's something just mesmerizing about this Pikmin 4 demo title screen that I just can't get over. Forgot like 20 minutes while setting up. I just had it going. I loved it. We'll just do story. I... I don't play like Pikmin Bloom. But I will scan this to see what it's talking about. Uh, plays Pikmin for demo. Oh, earn Pikmin for Uchi Rider costume reward code for the Pikmin Blue Dot for smartphones. Welcome in, Charlie. I'm just checking out this uh, apparently crossover with Pikmin fucking Bloom. This is already doing more with the mobile app than Animal Crossing has ever done. You get a whole ass costume and shit. Demo version complete once you collect 1500 units of Sparklium and finish exploring the day. You can import your save from the demo to the full version of the game. Oh, it's a co op game. That's cool. Oh, boy, oh, look. Look at that little guy. Oh, look at the little guy. He's just running. Yeah, bro, look at the whole pimp walk going. Hey, Tomaswa, Captain, Orima. Windu, Windu, Jero, Nuru, the Dorupin. Again, It's giving us a rundown of just Pikmin, but I can't tell if this is another Olimar crash landed on a planet and got lost, or... Yeah, this feels like the intro to Mario Galaxy 2, where it's just giving you the story of Mario Galaxy 1 in a different format. <laughs> Okay, it's a hundred percent new story because he never made this in the first or two second game, third game even. You're gonna waste all your points on petting Gamelon, aren't you? Yeah, I felt like people would enjoy it a lot, so I made it super cheap. Windows Para, Ivari Kevna. I know you said Kevna, but I heard Kevna. I'm 
Brent Augustus of the tutorial. Game's a bit loud. All right, thank you. Ah, uh, something that's area is different from the others we've explored so far. Is that any better? Smidge more? Alright. I uh, think because I think we don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing shit parts. Yeah, I mean, I, I could totally also just, like... Oh, I can't even pause the game. I was gonna say I could just probably pause the game and then just... lower it in-game, but... I guess I have to go through the tutorial first. I think, I think this might be the first Pikmin game that I actually, like, need need. Like, I wanted to play 3, but, um, I'm, so far, just by looks alone, this has really caught my attention. In this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion immediately and hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Need to find the missing ship parts, but it'll be much easier to have more Pikmin to help me. We're gonna get a lot of exploration in this game, aren't we? Also, I'm assuming that's gonna be a boss of some sort. Oh my, and they even have the quality of life where I can easily switch between the Pikmin. That was something I was so annoyed with in the first game. Like, I feel like that's something that they fixed in the second and third game. It's just that, like, up until now, there's really not really been a good time to go back to the second and first game. Oh my god. Hi, Snake. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, let me do a... Uh, it's been so long. Hold on. <laughs> Think? No? Uh... <laughs> Thank you. I get it. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, no, look at this Hi everyone, welcome in. I'm Watermelon Orc. I'm a variety streamer. Currently we are playing through Pikmin 4. Uh... I've been really wanting to try out this demo. I'm, I am pressed. Oh. Press. Hi, so, oh, since the shadow's not working, Snake, hi, hi, how are you? What, what were you playing?
Why are we missing a Pikmin? Did we come here with 30? Or did I throw one and just not pay it? I think I threw one and just didn't pay attention. That's gonna be fun. Nope, there he is. Normal Sagrass Mario World ROM hack? Oh, really? Not, not a Kaizo? Guessing this is 57. Uh, oh? Yeah, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose tracked down one of those helpful ship parts. Uh, we need to stay on that side. Alright. But, I mean, I guess this is, this is alright. So far, I'm really liking the uh, change of camera angle. Nope, normal Super Mario World have with hallucinogenic poison mushrooms completely normal. Ah, yes. You know, that's a typical ROM hack. I'm guessing there I'm guessing we had a hundred Pikmin coming into this level. And like I know it wants us to find the part, but also I want I want more Pikmin. Just knowing me, we're gonna need this many Pikmin as we can get our hands on before I get them killed. How, how'd you enjoy it though? Was it was it nice? Was it one of the high quality ROM hacks or like uh... No, Olimar, I do not have enough Pikmin. Shush. Yeah, it's gonna make me fight the thing up there. But I wanna, I wanna explore. Like I get, I get it, I get it. The whole point of this game is to like, well, it's a demo. It, I should just do what the demo says. Nothing I do here matters. <laughs> but also, look how cool this environment is, though. Look how much detail they put into this. I like, it feels wrong to not explore it. I'm not gonna. Alright, I guess. I guess I'll have to go get the shit part. Definitely had effort? That's good. I know there's a whole wide world of, like, good Super Mario ROM hacks, but the streamers I watch uh, play the questionable ones. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for dropping in again. Uh, if you need to do any kind of post stream, like, whatever you know get some food take care of yourself feel free to do it um i don't see any shit parts no. it... all right so far i mean like that's a Big quality change, not quality, like combat change. I'm, I'm here for. Oh, if combat's gonna be like this the entire game, or at least the majority of it, I'm, I'm so down. It looks like a Fisher Price toy. Honestly, I expected this demo to just be like make your character and just kind of play through the first few levels. I'm guess I'm guessing we're still gonna do that, but we're gonna start off with a tutorial of how Alamar gets captured because from the demo we saw, he obviously gets like a bad ending and gets turned into a pigment or something. <laughs> Ooh, black and white Earth, Mother Three. It looks like the moon. So, 
did they ever say if, like, I know in 1 and 2 I think it's the same planet, but for every Pikmin game, has Olimar just successfully crash-landed on the same planet four times? Well, I guess it wouldn't be successfully crash-landed, but like... Bro does this a lot. I don't think he should be a pilot anymore. It me. I'm ready to either make a character I actually like, or not be able to make one I like at all, and just have the funkiest looking guy. Uh, following Richard's program, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately, finding the dispersed rescue corpse is now your top priority. Yes, each game has been on the same planet. Bro, you think... You think he would learn how to land on that planet by now? Ooh, okay. Um... Save that one. These faces are funky. It's like, I usually want to go make a big character, but I don't really like any of his faces. I mean, this one's kind of, like, okay. The Pompadour. Nah. I might just go with the basic, like, small guy. Give him that little, little pog. He's just doing the poggers face. Uh... Not, not gonna lie, I just saw my own reminder in chat. And I was like, oh, who's who's who was chatting? Oh my god. At least it seems like if I make a character and start making changes to that character, I can go back and just like Um I kinda wanna go like that. Ooh. Okay. Give him green hair. Actually, you know what? Red hair, green suit. Yeah. You know what? This is our funky little guy. Oh, yeah. I... For anyone who doesn't know, uh... Last today, I added a new chat commit or uh, channel point redeem. 100 channel points, and you can give Gammon pets. That, that there was just it, it just seemed like something that needed to happen, you know. Everyone seems to really enjoy Gammon, so I thought they would jump at the opportunity to give him pets. I was gonna add an animated emote of petting Gammon, but I don't have access to animated emotes. I might look into adding it to like better Twitch TV or uh, Frank or Phase Z. Hi, just just a little guy. Yo, Snake, thanks for the resub. Welcome to the Common Rider Club. Uh, young Nala Rescue Pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that belongs to the Shepherd family. Huh? Mr. Shepherd? Of Mass Effect fame? Uh, you can catch the Rich Crows Pup Otachi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Okay, but is Otachi gonna grow like massive like the other thing that Olimar had?
I love that everyone's suit and the ship and everything is based off the color I chose. I mean, I was kind of hoping they'd all be multicolored. Um... You got this, pup. I believe in you. Okay, so like I get it, his name's Otachi, but I want to give him a different name. Otachi just doesn't stick, you know? Also, I did not have that choice for hair. How come you get funky hair options? Not that I would chosen. Uh, so you and Itachi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Itachi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, the communications operator for the rescue corpse. Uh, Rescue Corpse comms operator. He handles communication for his fellow officers. Places a handy with a wrench. Okay. Uh, it'd be cool if everyone's, like, crew were randomized. Like, they had the same name, but they looked different. Uh, path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided not to preserve my stamina. You're early as recruit, right? It's Melanor, isn't it? Couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out this emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps well, went on. It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh. What happened? Oh? I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when the, we were ejected from the spacecraft. Oh my god. You can tell I'm not used to reading. Oh my god. Hi, Raph. Yeah, everyone get the pet gown on pets in. I made it super cheap for a reason. I thought everyone was going to love it. Um... We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. Uh, it's almost embarrassing. Yeah. I almost confirmed that a spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can fly back. I go. Right, now we can find a way back to it. Okay. <laughs> I have. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few strange rescue officers along the way. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Wii U. <laughs> I really was about to say Wii U tablet. Honestly, it's just the Switch without the Joy Cons. Uh, it's an official Rescue Corps tablet. Use the, uh, them to share information. Thank goodness I was carrying extra. Oh. Tap up on the D pad. Side there, open to rescue missions. Look at my goofy little face. Uh, you can use the app anytime to confirm what tasks take priority. Uh, I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up for the missions. Uh, but if you press minus, select shortcut settings, you can assign different but functions to each shortcut button. Ooh, I like that. Custom, custom, custom ability. Uh, why does Colin look like one of those dolls that came alive to murder you? He do. He, re he looks like Slappy from fucking Goosebumps. Uh, Don't now you then. fucking Let's... touch me! I didn't give you consent. <laughs> <laughs> the way he couldn't say boy, but he could perfectly say fucking. Love it. Ten out of ten. Uh, now then, let's go find the as a shepherd. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just kind of like stunned with how this game looks like yeah it's not 60 fps or whatever but like still for a switch it's still astounding see the ship i have no idea how we're gonna reach it from here you know there's something familiar about this area i remember something it's just up ahead let's go i'm in dejovel to potty mouth moan <laughs> Uh, the plants on this planet are organic. Um, always make sure the way is safe. Yeah. Okay. A dungeon? Really? Look, see, that's the big hole in the ground over there. Uh, if only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with Yester Shepherd. You mean this? It's impossible to get over that ledge, guys. 
It's impossible to get there. Hey. Oh, this perfect uh, job for risk, but they're known for being excellent. I'm not saying that. Tishy, Good Papa Tashi. You're making up. Oh, I couldn't even read that. Uh, almost there. Uh, you can see why rescue pops are the rescue corpse pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Otachi. Sasuke Otachi. It sounds too close to another word I'm not comfortable saying. Uh, if one of these two holes is somehow connected to the underground. Yes, they are. Looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. Let's do it! That's the spirit. Here we go. Uh, though it does look pretty dark down there. And? Charlie, no. Bad. Hey, what is it, Otachi? Or Ochi? Ochi. Otachi. What the fuck? I can't read. Um, he's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Um, that's the way out, so let's go. No. Never mind. Let's get dead end. Yeah, no Uh-oh. shit. Let's try somewhere else. Are we just gonna go through this with only... Oh. Bulb snails? Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see where there's the captain of our rescue corps team. I hate their walking animation. I haven't paid much attention to it. Also, that's the captain? Really? Uh, let's sharp Melanor. The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers along the- This is not the time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Wow. Bitch. Ooh, time to relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. We've been hanging here for so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Uh, shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're alright. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard, one of the rescue corps. Or, I'm Captain Shepard of the rescue corps, if you don't remember. Uh, did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Mel? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that's rookie training really paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Thanks? A 99th gen rescue op uh, rescue corpse officer. She was saved by a rescue pup and as a child, sparking a lifelong joy for her furry colleagues. Found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Wow, fuck you. Uh, sorry, you're interrupted, Captain. But uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit, but then it came up with those icky slimy creatures. What? Hang on, did you fall down a hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Uh, well then, what are we waiting for? Or what are we around here for? Uh, Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Uh, Copy that. I was like, uh, uh really? something wrong? You didn't say anything, Melanor. Copy that as the rest of Corp's way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together. Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for our upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. I didn't plan on reading any of this, but 
This felt like reading today, I guess. This is where you'll find a vest left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge of the wisdom they share here will guide you well. Uh, you'll be able to rescue uh, to access them via your tablet as the need arises. So put them to good use while you're out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially prove your partnership. I'll be observing you both. See what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. So do we only get? Do we not get like the big dog that Olimar had? Or maybe Ochi grows. Um, there was light from above. There, that's where I fell in. My word. I think you survived from that height. More importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Oop. I think he narrated that himself better than I could have. Uh, so, uh, since I got the new mic, I've been testing what level I should have the microphone sensitivity at for the mouth to open and close, and it's been really finicky. I really don't know what like level I should have it at. Excuse me, Melanor. I suggest you're you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe just don't touch it? No. I'm gonna as if I don't notice something, I'm gonna touch it. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Alright, Captain. The rescue corpse flag has officially been planted. Now for the status report on all the caves related activities. Uh we located and rescued one cast the way no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. This, then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. Hope this experience will uh, will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Melanor. Ochi. I guess I'm just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you, uh, you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Oh, of course. And if, as for you, uh, and for you, you did it. Uh, I can't fucking read. <laughs> well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Uh, I'm just trying to adjust this more. Hello, testing. Okay. I guess as we go on, I'll keep an eye out on this. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Come on. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered that the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. <laughs> what? Oh no. Will it be okay? Can you go? It will. I initiated the emergency shutdown and everything was stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's engine stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage that may pr uh, prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. At the third investigation, the shiny objects found on this planet have deducted that there must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasures, but my focus must remain on the main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from the sparkling objects we found on the planet and convert it into energy. If they could be used to restart and restore the SS Shepherd, those objects are truly nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have no mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that.
Apparently, Spark the Objects can be used as an energy source. Look at as many as you can, uh, so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Uh, once we collect this treasure, we'll need to tr uh, wait to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Why is it all the way over there? We just need a good place for it to land. Uh huh? What's going on? Uh, what's that over there? Oh! So shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect shape for a base of operations. Call the ship over. SS Beagle uh, repositioning successful. Uh, good, our preparations are complete. Let's find the treasure. Uh, see anything sparkly around here? Yeah. Is that what I think it is? A fork? Uh, has to be a treasure, just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting high energy reading. Alright, rookie, press plus to open the radar map. Hello, hello. Uh, Spark confirmed that star in the center represents full treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar mark map to check if there's any spark uh, treasure in the area. But I guess oh, only hello. after I've actually looked at it. Uh, excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But uh, how are we supposed to get it moving? Okay, so currently Ochi is considered a strong as three Pikmin. Uh, this was a Thark. How can physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the right type of energy we need. Yes, energy detected. Uh, if we can collect 250 more units of spark uh, sparklium, we can be able to set, uh, reset the SS Shepherd. Uh, but the SS Shepherd's supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on sparklium alone, although it might be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. And we need to search the area for more treasure. But like, what am I getting a Pikmin? That's where we came from. Oh, they even have like a UI element to actually like let us know how many treasures are in the area. I like that. I... Oh, wow. oh, of course, the Game Boy Adv uh, Advance SP is like right here. Ochi, oh, maybe move from there? Yeah, that was close. Too close. Bro. Look at the detail they put on this. Oh, an onion. What's this? Is it a treasure? But, like... I mean, I guess we're gonna need them anyway to get this, so... Can we help? I feel like we should be able to help. I feel like there's been enough Pikmin games to where I should at least put the other captains to use by making them help carry things. Oh, Aw, move. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion. Then what does it sprout? Pikmin. Ah, oh, the Pikmin looks so good.
little Steve. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly little helping cre uh, helpful creatures. Uh, well, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Look at that! Oh, she's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should reintroduce yourself as well, Eleanor. And well, uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? You just like Pikmin and Eleanor. I figured. Can I not? I cannot jump. Okay, so I can throw the Pikmin, and they can get things like on ledges and whatnot, but Ochi can only get things that are on the direct, like, ground area. Also, since we only have one onion, if I tell Ochi to bring a red flower back to the red onion, will I still get double? What? More sprouts? That red seed-like uh, thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed that one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. Aww. What a mysterious life form. So, let's put that to the test. Ochi, can you get that? And then will you bring it? Yes. But will I still get two? Yeah, awesome. Oh my god, and right off the bat, you can just hold down the A to auto-pick Pikmin. I, uh, quality of life changes, my friends. And since I already have an idea how to play Pikmin, I'm just gonna, like, get on it, you know? Um... I think that's all the pellets. Nope. Oh, those freckles. That involves five. Also, yeah, I kind of see what you mean with the walk cycle. Though, I kind of like how goofy it is. Like, I don't... They kind of... They run around like Lala Fells from Final Fantasy XIV. Um, let's get this first. Um, is there a way to just, like, tell all the Pikmin to, like, go there? And then I still have enough Pikmin to grab the other thing. What is it, a bell? Yeah. Perfect. I kind of wish when this flipped open it actually played like the Game Boy Advance startup sound. That would have been really cute. Oh, wait. So, wait, do they have like sets of treasure? Huzzah! Uh, you two make a fantastic combination, Melanork and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Hey, Mom. Yes, yes. Keep up the good work. Yeah, uh, the Pikmin are also very, are, are very obedient, and they move and uh, work like tiny rescue pups. Hey. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Boy. Get started right away, Colin. So, from what I'm guessing from the UI, it seems like the treasures are going to be part of sets instead of like just showing you what are available in the area because i'm assuming they're going to have like one of each kind of like console and handheld for nintendo and that's why there's a huge like thing compared to just like the three that we had for like the fork Yeah, I, it's just the tutorial, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but, like, honestly, 
I might need to try to find a way to get some money to pre-order this game, because I'm I'm really digging this compared to Pikmin 1 and 2. We started the Shepherd using the spark uh, Sparkly and attracted from the treasure. Uh, we did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but we can at least use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if you can pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers or even Captain Olimar. We don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Sorry if I'm getting like progressively louder and louder. The the knob on the bottom of my microphone is like super sensitive, and like if I move my microphone just an inch. It just like the knob turns. Normal, uh, noble Biden, stone of advancement and path of creator. This is interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. We encounter unknown objects and element our missions all the time, so I had a naming app installed to our new ship. Apparently, it was uh, co created by a famous appraiser. The more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. Yeah. It's neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. He's not wrong. Uh, I was worried when I saw the smoke blowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how the things would shake out. Uh, thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I've been roughing it for long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a proper, properly prepared meal. Are you sure you have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now... Tomorrow we'll focus on a recon, so you and Oji need to eat and get a lot of rest, Melanark. Uh, but don't forget your review of the missions before you're heading out. So, we still have another 1200 Sparklium to get before we finish up the demo, so I think, I think we got a good amount of ex exploration ahead of us. I... this game is really pretty. Alright, guess this is everyone. Uh, call strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to some Melanork. Yeah, baby. Uh, however, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission to the rescue Captain Olimar has run into some roadblocks. First priority is now search for the rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Ah. Melanark, Ochi, fly around, fly to the area where our radar picked up the stress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will be remain with the ship and provide direction and guidance from here. No. Don't worry, we'll be available via SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have full support. No. I would typically assign so much responsibility to work, but after seeing your action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Huh? Captain, what about the search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put that on pause? Hey, no. You may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Huh? On that note, I'll hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Okay. Copy that. Huh? Captain Olimar, shook your on the zone the plan to serve his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Collect 1,500 units of our team to finish the day to complete the demo. Afterwards, you can receive rewards both via smartphone, device, app, Pikmin Bloom, and full version of the game. Like, I don't... I don't play Pikmin Bloom. But, like, should I... Should I install it just to get the rewards? I feel like it'd be a waste to get the rewards and then not actually, like, redeem them. Uh, are you free to chat real quick? Sure. Uh, you'll be pleased to learn that I installed the new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find it more useful than when you're out in the field, so check them when you have the spare minute. Uh, now that we have sorted out, are you ready to get on? Uh, bye for now. I'll go explore for the others after I bulk up my Pikmin. Also, it seems like we can only have up to 20 red Pikmin.
Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on the life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many that can be on the surface at a time to prefer, uh, prevent unnecessary loss? I'm just kind of now realizing I didn't get to explore the rest of the inside of the house, and I'm kind of bummed about that. Now I'm ready to go. Fishy. I'll sit over here at Speed. I'll take you right. ready to explore. Hello? Uh, where would you like to explore? I mean, do we really? I mean, okay, I guess we have another place to explore. Uh, Sun Speckled Terrace. Oh, this is what we saw in the, uh, the trailer. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Uh, hang on. I'll have the cat to explain how today's rescue observation will work. Uh, see your clock at the top of the left corner of your screen? It'll set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the screen local sunset time. So it's for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue camp before it's dark. I'm on the job. I'm just going to make sure I say anything but Roger that. Uh, try to remember that you're supposed to respond to copy that anyway. I'm not going to respond to copy that. Oh, you should probably rescue the onion. Uh, oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied me as this beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and take care of what help uh you can get. I think you could put those pick into good use. I'm already seeing those ice stones over there that I'm pretty sure maybe they convert the type of Pikmin. That's pretty rock, isn't it? Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check top down for oil shog. Um, one can mistake the raw material for a simple stone, but it is more common to amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should use I should be able to find many applications for it. Uh I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know how much about material science. If we had our scientist back, he'd be able to make a good use of this. Looked it for now, I'll be expecting now something to work on when we finish with him. That, that sounds actually kind of, like, satisfying. Gee, I obliterated the bulb orb. Here, you get that. You get that. Come in, Melanor. I have forgotten an important detail that is you're going to need Itachi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Uh, he's a sharp sense of smell, so we'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their sense. Using Y to open actions and use left. Okay. Uh, to begin with, command Itachi to pick up a scent. You'll never know where his nose may lead you. Uh, rescue operations are against, race against times. 
So put your Dendori skills to find uh, to work, find your rescue officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dendori before, Melanark? How to explain? Uh, Dendori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still the core uh, tenet of the rescue corps, so take that to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is uh, essential to our work, and yet, and you'll need to, uh, it out there to follow us giving the other officers. Uh, to get things sorted out, hold me up. Yep, okay. Well, Ochi is kind of busy right now dragging off the dead corpse of a bulb orb. All the sun, Ochi. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I I need to make sure I have backup Pikmin because inevitably I will kill them. I'm glad that there is some sort of, like, lock-on. Because that was an issue I had when I was playing Pikmin 1 when we were doing the, uh, the crowd control. It was just, like, the fact that there wasn't a lock-on, I overshot or undershot a lot of Pikmin. Huzzah, now we can get past that wall. Look, there's a cave here too. Sorry, he's crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers should have retreated in, uh, should have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. That. Okay, first of all, Ochi come back, and then we need to call back those Pikmin. Yeah, I know, Colin, but like, I'm not going in with only a portion of my Pikmin. Ochi, help him carry the bull board. Okay. Now that the whole squad's here, now we'll go inside. Fiery Blowhog, though. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered the uh, cave of the SS Dolphin Parts, found a creature that defies logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cool air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclaimed, acclimatized to the cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take a Pikmin with you. Yes, this beagle can bring Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Fucking wish I knew that. Uh, the Pikmin that retain uh, remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so return them to the onion for the time being. Wish I knew that. I wouldn't have gone and just... Yeah, just give me 20. Good boy, Ochi. Picked up the castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get back to safety. Oh, but there's also sparklies. Nectar. 
Oh, what was that? That's not treasure. Huh? Treasures are not. Those appear to contain sparklium. Uh, you may as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. May, uh, there may be enough to help even only a little. You see that? A bloom to flower. What's going on here? Hmm. The substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. And make sure you leave some for the other Pikmin, too, alright? There's just like a single Pikmin. There we go. Oh! Hey, the Ice Pikmin! Yeah, beat him up! Uh oh. Thing frozen? Maybe it'll respond to a whistle. Alright. It's weird that they showed us the Ice Pikmin in the demo of uh, the trailer, but they never actually acknowledged them. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says I always thought of Pikmin as plant like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their ice bodies to freeze water in creatures, but also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Your no. bodies are made of ice? Who knew something frozen can move around like that? That's incredible. Oh, huh? It seems like a lot of Pikmin are in your squad are bigger than normal. Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because Pikmin you'll find will join you. I'll send Ochi and two of you. Two of you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have sent Ochi. Are you using the radar map? No. I'm glad they actually have, like, a better way to keep track of your Pikmin in the first game, we, because, like... Uh, like, we... You, whoever was there when we were playing the crowd control, I was struggling a lot. Um, one of the things was that, kind of like, every day, there would always be at least one Pikmin that would just go off on its own and get lost. controls option like I'm I do like the controls now but like uh, it doesn't look like it I miss being able to use the right stick to can like control many Pikmin at once that was a really like that was a really good feature to have A berry? A blue raspberry. Yeah, I don't think I didn't see this on the map. Honestly, I wouldn't even notice that this was here if they didn't tell me to look at the map. Okay, so it seems like one nectar equals like what? Five ice Pikmin or ten red Pikmin? Oh. 
Does it look like it's sputtering? Looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Yeah? So I'm guessing that's gonna be part of like a painter set where we're gonna have like one of each major color, maybe one of color of each Pikmin. That'd be cool. What is this? I love how jiggly it looks. Uh, they want me to freeze it with the ice Pikmin, huh? Just like that, frozen solid. But you can break it if you hit it with, uh, hit now. Give the order to Pikmin or Ochi. Oh, it never occurred to me to use Ochi to actually break down these walls. Hurry up. Get it out of here. Aw. Uh -huh. The onion's different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Ochi, come on. Oh, they're breaking it down into... Okay, that's, that's cool. Found a castaway. Hurry, check the vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all with the normal parameters. Looks like the life support systems did its job. Should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their identity badge. They're not using the same colored suit as us. Also, I'm glad that they kept what it seems to be the mechanic from Pikmin 2, where time doesn't pass if you're underground. So, if, I, if it works the same as above ground, I could just leave those guys at the SS Beagle and then just leave? You did it! Let's take a look to see the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ. Honestly, it looks like Louie. An adventure material engineer and lover of all things science, you can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right model materials. Nice. Oh, thank the stars he's alright. This is Russ. He's a scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits in the SS Shepard. Technologists will be helpful during the rescue mission. Kind of looks like a long head Dr. E or Professor E. Gad. Uh, you found Russ, the rescue corps talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Uh, Pikmin currently outside of your squad will come with you. Yeah. Alright, bet. That's a great that's a great quality of life enhancement. So now that there's a fiery blowhog though, like right next to this top like dungeon. I'm are they gonna like melt the blue Pikmin and like just kill them and like instantly? 100% baby, let's go. At least these dungeons don't seem like they're capable of holding the water wraith from Pikmin 2. I know I'm bringing Pikmin 2 up a lot. I've Pikmin 2 is the one that, even though I haven't played it, I'm the most familiar with because I watched uh, Checker Conroy do a Let's Play of it. And he went like super in detail on every little detail of the game, as he does for every Let's Play he does. Try synchronize your clock while because something's off. No. I calculated the difference. It looks like it's one sixth as much time has passed on the surface that you spent underground. It seems times move time moves differently in the underground spaces on the planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need, want to explore caves. That's great. Ten out of ten. Love it. No. 
Hey, the onion sucked it up. A voyage log says the white bulb called the flarlic. If we bring flarlic to the onion, increase the number of Pikmin and release it onto the surface. I think. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to get yellow Pikmin, but I'm fine with that. Oh, that'll be big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. Oh, I don't need to. I already have 10 ice Pikmin. Along with Ochi. Pretty far from the SS Beagle. I'm pretty. Uh, he, I'm guessing he's like hinting that we should make a shortcut back. I'm guessing that's what this might be. It's been a cookie. Uh, was this on construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure, you could put it to good use if it was finished. If only. Ah, huh? oh, the circle stone. Keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Almar left them behind for so we could use to track them down. Never mind that. I wonder if we're in the creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you that the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Oh, she's tails burning. Put it out with B. It definitely seems like the game's a lot more forgiving with uh, calling Pikmin back in the first game. In the first game, it definitely felt like whenever I like would send Pikmin out. It would take forever for them to come back. But I feel like you could actually do this properly. Now, do we need to wait for the professor to wake up before we can make use of those materials? Alright, so how do these guys work? Oh, I need 30 of them to freeze the- okay. Alright. I thought I was going to be able to use these guys to, like, make pathways. Boom. You want to keep a close eye on that creature, but if they move around a lot, you can easily escape your line of sight. Um, when that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping sight of your aim. Do you want... Yeah, I already learned how to do the auto-targeting. Frozen nerd! It froze? Why don't you stand there? Now's your chance! Why not? I'm already beating it up, my guy. So it's easier to kill and it drops nectar if we do that, but I'm assuming that means that, like. Can we not? I'm assuming that if we do that, it means that we just can't use their body, like, period, to create more Pikmin. The auto-target for this is a godsend. I could never actually, like, perfectly land on the Pikmin. The little bull borbs.
All right, so that's going to be a yellow Pikmin thing, I'm assuming. I love that this, I can actually help demolish the wall by punching it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Another bridge. Let's have Ochi work on that. Now that we have the shortcut. I'm gonna assume we'll be fine to go into the dungeon again. And as soon as they collect that, I'll just dive right in. And I'm assuming we're going to need the yellow Pikmin to get the other thing to increase our Pikmin limit. Surprised that's not something the like series has done before, where you need to upgrade your Pikmin capacity. Oh, the demo's almost over. I don't want it to be over. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I was feeling hotter than usual in my spacesuit. When we look down, the grant. I was on fire. I panicked, but the red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance. Totally unfazed by the fire, even licked them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Okay. So we're only bringing fire. Yeah, we're not bringing any ice Pikmin with us. That That's a death wish. The eggs are holding rocks. What the, the hell? I don't know why I'm worrying about them getting hit, because I know that they're just gonna sit in the fire and not take any damage. I'm the yellow Pikmin. Oh, the little sparks of electricity. This is a new type of Pikmin? As you can see, Kat Olimar's log says anything about them. I uh, decided to call the yellow coated Pikmin with large yellow appendages. Yellow Pikmin. Ooh, so creative, Olimar. Uh, I like the names a lot more than Ear Pikmin. They're resistant to electricity and fly high when thrown. Plus, they're really good at digging. Huh. Resistant to electricity. How unusual. What in the world are they made out of? Sounds like potentially useful quality, though. Just be careful how you deploy them. There aren't that many. I feel like I'm gonna need... yeah. So if we collect this yellow thing of paint. Oh 
Ochi, help him out. Actually, I might need you. Get back here, Ochi. Actually, I might need all of you, though. Oh my god. Sorry, I, I tried to mute for the, the background noise the time, but it's just never... I, I'm never fast enough. Do the yellow pigment actually do like electric damage now? Also, that's. I don't like how that razor is being held up with a spider web. That feels like foreshadowing. Ochi, help him out with the eraser. It definitely feels way easier to manage more Pikmin in this game than it did in the first game. Second, I panic thinking I just threw yellow Pikmin over there. Are right, red Pikmin? Oh my god. I'm waiting for the red, like, lava floor to show up. I was expecting that coming in here, but so far there's no sign of it. So, no, Uchi. I hate that technically if I want to experience the demo as much as I want, I really shouldn't be bringing any of these beasts back to the the beagle because it's just going to put me one step closer to completing the demo and I really don't want to stop playing. This, this demo is supposed to last like three to four hours. I'm only like an hour and a half in. But like, I'm having too much fun to like not collect everything. Then to break the charcoal, then I also gonna use these guys to knock this down. 
Oof. I feel like I might have just thrown Ochi over there without realizing. I'll leave that alone. I have like five of you guys. More. No, I I want you working on that. Thank you. Red nectar. Can't tell if these are marshmallows or charcoal. We'll knock this bug out while we're over here. I'm not gonna pick it up though. I refuse to pick it up. I know it's only one sparkly, but like I need it. I need whatever time I can salvage from this. Uh, Schnoz. An acclaimed treasure appraiser who traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop the leading appraisal AI. Thanks. This is Noreshka officer. Who is this? How did he get here? The idea shows that he's a treasure appraiser? What is he doing on this planet? Hmm. I wonder. You remember on the voyage log that arrived at Captain Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up the signal and saw the log and decided to come this way in search of treasure. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar too, shipwrecked and stranded. What do I hunch? Uh, that's my hunch anyway. Um, I like that this appraiser is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them too. Chances are they're in danger. Officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? Really? As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar and the, res uh, and the rescue corpse, there are also civilian castaways on the planet. Rescue any that you may come across. Okay. Let's get started on this. Looks like Red Nectar, I wonder. Bring Red Nectar, Ultra Space Con- Oh, yeah. I believe that's the Ultra Spicy Nectar that was used- That was you uh, mentioned by Captain in the voyage log. Keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. There's a decent amount of Ultra Spicy Essence there. Should be useful. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Probably. For my actions, open your pack with... No shit, right? Uh, find all the items in there, so just pick the one you want to use. Alright? Um, I'm gonna hold off on using the spicy. Is is that a macaron?
but I killed it before. Ah, oh. rip. No, that was my. I thought that it was just gonna despawn after the health hit zero, so that's my bad. Why would you do that? Ochi has too much trust in me. I'm gonna get this dog murdered. Oh. Is that a fucking yam? It is, it's a fucking yam. Think that's everything down here? Forgot we have a map. Uh yeah, it looks like it. Maybe you'll have a moment in silence for those red Pikmin that died risking their lives for our safety. May those nine Pikmin rest in peace. What's the problem? Why is he the Pikmin will follow you onto the surface? Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at one time. Don't worry about the rest when you choose uh, which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go back on the onion with the SS Beagle. Yeah, you know, I think 10 of each will be fine. Clock is not obtainable yet.
They got 10 more Pikmin, baby! Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure that you're on your way back to the base before it gets dark. Yeah, but we're like super close to to no. getting rid of this plant. Friend to Captain Almar's wallet. Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back in this area around the base. Oh, Seems like the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Oh, we're pretty much already back. Yeah, they're all back anyway. I I guess we'll end the day? Can we end the day? You wind time. Oh, that's weird. I mean, it's cool. I guess that's a good way to, like, redo something if you fucked up. Now I'm thinking about, let's look for someone to raid while we're wrapping up here. Because we only got like 20 minutes left to stream. Uh, and I think, I think I know. I think I will finish the demo by getting the 1500 sparkle, sparkleum. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubts that the emergency escape system I developed would function properly. <laughs> that may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in an event of emergency. <laughs> Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any shiny rocks like this before we found you? <laughs> Oh, Colin. Colin, not only did I see them, I already completed a very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can shape into any form you desire. Its base properties can even be changed with the exposed different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. It. Alright, cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can use this miracle material to use as soon as we bring it back to the SS Beagle. It'll be crucial to my work in the lab and any other buildings that may uh, need to be your eyes. But it's hard to read. <laughs> a spectacular update, Russ. I knew we could bring uh, bring along material scientists would be your key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm exp Sorry. Uh, sorry, tomorrow I'll expect our rescue operations to get even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. You should be able to find our rescue officers more quickly as well. Speaking of which, we've also discovered a uh, few castaways inside our own rescue officer and Captain Olimar. There may be some more. What should we do about them, Captain? There's only one thing we can do. Rescue them, no matter how many are out there. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll take good care of them, Colin. Copy that, Captain. Another task for the to-do list. Are we going to have enough, like, food in our supply to, like, feed all these extra people? We really only came prepared for, like, our five crew members and Captain Olimar. Aren't we going to need to start, like, foraging for food for everyone? Wait, isn't it weird? Did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? 
That's actually quite typical for this breed. It's a sign that they're now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Aw, oh, that's adorable. They're mature or playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi has come to his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Alright, another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that now he can build up his puck drive while completing missions. And with regular uh, regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful to everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. What the fuck's a pup drive? Alright, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. Now call the strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Bye. Hee hee. It'd be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard. Because they're done. Oh? The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material they collected into all-purpose clay. With the functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we're building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing, bring me more materials and I'll be able to whip up some new exciting gears and items for the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure, but now raw materials too. And don't forget about our mission, rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Melanorca Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. I'm going to talk about the training. Uh, hey, you there. Uh, danger and yeah, the skills I will teach you and Ochi might save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing you two can't do. Well, I hope you're ready to training, because I... Uh, sure. I'm with Clint's training. This journey will be long and rigorous, but I have no... Yeah. Alright. Oh, is this just a tutorial? Oh no, he like, oh, this is actually like stuff. Um, those of you training curriculum has been passed down through my generations. If Ochi's pup drives built significantly, you can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skill to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two take. Go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the chomp path if you want to teach us. Oh yeah, that, mm. But keep, yeah, Dandori. Uh. I mean... Hmm... Let's teach him... How many how many points does he have? Four? Um, then we'll go with... Buff, and then healing. Good work, Ochi. Just the word for you. Bones? Going forward, every time you complete training, you get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Oh, the healing items. Alright, so I'll hold on to these. Hey, congrats on redeeming- I just now realized that no one's redeemed first until this point. Um, I don't know what you want. Uh, thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess I'm really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm Schnoz. As noted appraiser of treasure, I often compile my findings in a little log for positarity's sake. A few treasures. Ah, you're interested in my treasures, are you? I'd love for you to take a gander at my pride and joy. My treasure catalog. At last, I lost all my data while I was, well, lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to appraise any treasure you happen to collect? If you do, I shall complete the treasure data in a nearly de edited treasure log. Of course, I'll offer you a reward for doing me the favor. I'll require that as you keep me posted when you find something. Okay, so yeah, confirmed. These are all different parts of like a single collection. So this is probably gonna be like a paint collection, navigation. So there's probably gonna be like a map and then maybe a canteen. This might just be a bunch of bike parts. I'm gonna assume this is 
Also, like, chalk and crayons and whatnot. These are going to be all cookies and vegetables and all Nintendo consoles. Nice. That's cool. You drop by any time. Yeah. So I'll, I'll try and remember. Ahem. Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the Rescue Corps operation. I use the raw materials you find in any uh, and my homemade or handmade components and create all kinds of items and gear to use in the field. This is the lab, baby. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have down to a science. In exchange for raw materials, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab for uh, the next day after I've restocked. Um, in order to export your starting, it's just vantage point. Oh. Press X on the horn to select the Pikmin to charge. Awesome, yes. Um, made from... Thank you for an inferno, plus it's moisture wicking. Oh. Treasure gauge? A sensor text treasure and castaways nearby. No need to rely on your natural instincts to guide you now. Let's get this. And then also the Scorch Guard. Mm -hmm. I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my specific masterpiece, the Charging Horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press and hold X to blow the horn once to order your Pikmin to charge. Press X will only once your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge, but keep selecting, or uh, pressing it. Okay. As you can see, the horn is perfect for attacks and transporting objects. You can even call it Dandori Dynamite. I don't think I'll call it that. Yeah. Well, we're all set over here. Yes, this beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Let's go. Oh, we get... Oh, I thought the demo ended at 1500. We get more airy. We might have another stream of this. Yeah, yeah, that's all cool. Like, I just, I, I want to get into the meat. I am having way more fun with this Pikmin game than I did Pikmin 1 crowd control. Come in. Over. As we discussed earlier, all, uh, Otachi has gr uh, grown a bit this morning, so I decided to tr uh, drill him on the jump skill. Aww. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close and Ochi, press Y the mount. Uh, begin dismount. Yeah, yeah. Aww. See, like, I don't think we need this tutorial. Because we literally learned all of this at the beginning of the game when we were playing as Olimar. I love this game so much right now. Oh, right. Why am I doing? Uh, now that I have the shiny objects, like, even though I know I spent a lot of them, I could probably make that shortcut back to the entrance. Oh. I believe we can turn this partial construction to a vital asset. We'll proceed raw material in the clay and the SSB on the new built materials. Raw materials are only valuable and brilliant minds give them a higher purpose oh, after yeah. all. Once you're at the construction site, so, uh, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. Um... 
So I'll put those five Pikmin for yellow and red. Have them start doing that. It's like I kind of want to go into the Duck's Dungeon. Also, I feel like I owe the Red Pikmin this much since I kind of murdered nine of them. Oh wow, like the the pellets actually have like raised numbers and shit, like details on them? Oh, they really put a lot of effort into this game. Bridge looks kind of yummy, not gonna lie. It looks like a cookie. Kind of want it. Let me eat the bridge. If there's one thing Nintendo can do right, it's making things look really good to eat. Honestly, this ball might just be enough to get us where we need to go. Also, why did I do that? I could just call the ship over here. And then just have the yellow pick and come over here to do that. There's so many quality of life improvements in this game that I just absolutely adore compared to the first game. I think if we do, if I do end up getting this game, I think I might have to stream the whole thing. Yeah, let's try another dungeon. Uh, someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin are unable to scramble it up, but the moss was a uh, uh, but moss was unable to climb up the wall. I have to leave her behind for now and hope that we can find a way or place to meet up. Oh, uh, so there's gonna be a bit of this where we're gonna have to go without Ochi, and it seems like we're only gonna be able to wait. No. That's weird. Hectic Hollows. Um, what are those? Oh, yeah, get all the sparklies. I'm guessing we're going to get blue Pikmin in this dungeon. And I guess we just wait? No one's going to be able to get the Russian doll out. Or at least the head of the Russian doll. Unless we get the red pick or the blue Pikmin anyway. I thought I might have made it. What do you mean two out of ten? Are those water Pikmin? Are those ice Pikmin? Whatever they are, they're kind of chunky. Oh my 
Guys, don't worry about that. Also... Um, I should have sent other pick to do that. Actually, no, I'm fine. Was the bottom part of it, but like maybe the maybe there's like things where you have to come back. I don't know. I don't want you did it. You really got, uh, you did really great, Ochi Melonark. With all the energy we collected, we can now continue the restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Yeah, but I don't. Don't end this demo on me. I'll fight you. I'm having too much fun. I genuinely never thought I was gonna have this much fun with a Pikmin game, because I just. I don't know. After, like, the way Pikmin 1 went, where it really felt like I was struggling to control the Pikmin, and, like, how the Pikmin just kind of had the suicide back with each other and just like dropped all the bombs when we were going to fight the first boss like i i just really discouraged me from playing the game in all honesty How many blue Pikmin do I have? If I have 30, wait, no. <gasps> wait, can I freeze the water? Is this not gonna require like 30 frozen Pikmin? <gasps> oh, we finally get to try this out. That's awesome. Oh, that's such a great thing. Uh, the water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Oh, and there's no ice physics either. Oh, so it will stay frozen as long as I keep the ice pikmin in place, but if I move them, it will start to melt. Alright, that's understandable. So that's everything here. All the sparklies, all the treasure. Oh, nearby castaway? Bet. How do we get off Ochi? Oh, there we go. But I do know some Pikmin I have would love these. Good on that. What kind of blow hog is that? No!
Oh, that bastard ate one. I was thinking he was going to be like another elemental blowhog, and nah, he's just a fucking monster. Guessing I use the yellow Pikmin here. Or not. Can I not jump and throw? I feel like this is a very simple thing. Like, I feel like having Ochi on. Uh, fun fact, up until the Nintendo Direct, I thought Pikmin was a shitty off-brand Pokemon game because of the name. Understandable. But nah, this is actually, like, really fun. This is definitely the most fun out of all the Pikmin games I've played. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's trying to tell me to use the motion controls. It is. No, is it not? There we go. God, I honestly forgot there was motion controls even in the game, so it didn't even occur to me to use them. Kingsley. Pick up special flowers to your level when you traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see unusual blossoms. about that. Uh, nope, this is another civilization castaway. A florist out, he uh, out here on his own. But why? Well, that's just ill-advised. Uh, it's up to you to rescue the intel stones you find. Sorry. It's up to you to rescue any castaways. Find Melanor and Ochi. I wish I had my own room. Ah, uh, yeah. Be 100% of the dungeon at the cost of a single Ice Pikmin. May he rest in peace.
I was really concerned that the demo was just going to end at the 1500, like, sparkly bits, but I'm really glad it didn't. <laughs> um, now that taking into... Now taking into consideration the... I can use the... Gyro controls to aim a little bit higher. I wonder if we can actually get that wall clock down. I guess not. Oh well. Need more rocks. But we do have yellow Pikmin, so we can take down this wall. No, ride. I think, yeah. Guess we'll go get some more ice Pikmin so that we can freeze our way over there. Oh, perfect. Oh wait, no, 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 y'all, y'all come back. I didn't even realize there was a new landing site. We're, we're taking care of that first. Actually, wait, I don't- I forgot. With the Ice Pikmin, killing these things is like super easy. Yeah, I think we had Pikmin carrying things back, and I just kind of fucked him over, didn't I? trustworthy huh there's someone there Dan Dory Dan Dory they just jumped into that hole maybe there's uh they're just confused after the shock of eating shipwreck hurry up and rescue the uh rescue them Ochi and Melanor Exploration. Oh, that's just the flat out. That's just flat out the yellow onion. We can get more yellow Pikmin. Finally. Oh. 
think of that? Another onion. This one's a different color from the first one we found. We'll also move on its own after we transport it. This onion certainly is heavy. So I think what we'll do is we will finish this day and then we will go and raid out to someone. I just don't want to keep having to butte. Sucked with the other onion? That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Aww. Unbelievable, the onion's fused and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think it will be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now? I feel like there's gonna be something in here. Oh? Oh. Why is there a stealth mechanic? That makes me anxious. all the treasures and creatures within the time limit. Your Pikmin cannot join you. Unfinished tasks on the surface will be called off. Aww. It looks like the Pikmin don't want to go with you. Oh well. And I'll just be the two of you, Ochi and Melanurk. Yeah, just me and my dog. This is going to be like, I, I know what this is going to be, and I feel like this is going to, what it's going to be like, a struggle for me to complete the game if I play it. Aww. This place is for do, uh, testing Dandori. Do, ma do more Dandori. Improve Dandori. Simple goal. Carry as much as you can until time ends. That is all. Treasure here, all fake. You cannot carry home. Pikmin here, all mine. Also cannot take home. This means can Nandori feed forever the bliss for me and for you. Do well, get raw materials. Do not well, also get raw materials. You wish to take me from here? Show me your best Nandori. Show me your best Nandori. Oh, the bastard ate my Pikmin! So far, this isn't look too bad.
Don't leave Pikmin standing idle. I know. I'm trying my best, sir. trailer or not the trailer but like there was a, a TikTok actually that taught me that if you do this it's a real good way to finish battles super fast and it's weird to think that a TikTok taught me about Pikmin Oh wow, if I knew Pikmin could help out with this, I would have done this way sooner. Oh my god, that was- that was only for... What else is there to get? Oh, the eclair. Oh my god. Please, everyone. Deliver this eclair, please. They're not gonna make it. I was right there. I almost had it. Can I retry this? <laughs> you work too fast. I feel dizzy. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. This is your reward. Oh my, they fainted. I wonder what caused that. Well, I guess it's their chance to get them out of here. But I want to do it again. I, I could do it better this time, I promise. Maybe without getting a Pikmin killed by that weird warthog thing? But well, leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside the cave. Let's get the lid closed, so that's a precaution. So can I not do that one again? Not one. I think I just fucked myself. Yep. I just fucked everything. This is bad. Oh, she can't swim. Call him back to land the whistle. <laughs> Hurry, a Pikmin is drowning. Use your whistle to call him back to sh I'm trying! That was my fault. I... I didn't think that, you know... Coming out of there, it would have let me come out with less Pikmin than I was able to, like, freeze the water with.
It looks like I can't redo these? That kind of sucks. I mean, I guess it's the whole point is just... You don't really miss anything for not, like, 100%ing them. But I would have liked the extra materials for doing that. just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head and the face is all, well, bushy. Let's check out their IU info. Air, PNF404. Air, unable to read data. Oh. What's this? Unable to read data? They should have had biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? Okay, guess we can kill butterflies to get materials. Um, but with that, I think we'll just end the day there. I noticed you're looking at the radar map just now. Why don't you tell them about the handy little function it has? The system will mark discovered caves and clear caves with a down arrow or a cross arrow. Go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Okay. Well, let's. Oh, you can't. Thank you. Sorry about that. Let's end the day there. And then I guess we'll wrap up stream. Hopefully, Thursday um, isn't like this. Uh. But I do think I want to keep continue playing this demo. This has been a really good, a really good experience with Pikmin so far. I'm really excited for this game. We're going to uh, restore the SS Shepherd's radar. We have to expand our searches and we need to, to go out and gather more sparklium. This will expand our range and help us pick up that distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. Almost done. Huzzah! We've detected multiple SOS signals. I hope this gets us closer to finding our missing officers and Captain Olimar. Make a record over that area right away, Colin. They have leaves growing out of their head. So odd. There's poisonous oxygen in this plane's atmosphere. They shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet. Something's very strange going on in here. So it was like the bad ending of Pikmin, now canonical that it happens to people. 
like Olimar and everyone's probably now just like Harry Pikmin. Oh damn, halfway through the area. I think there's a lot of stuff that we're not going to be able to do until we get blue Pikmin. But still. Good good progress. Has to be re rescued today. Were those leaves growing out of their head? Why not ask them? We brought them back. You can talk to them. They speak English. Leaves so, and they aren't just leafy. They're completely overgrown. There's no way to tell who they are. Maybe we'll get some more information after they are examined by our doctor. Maybe, but first we need to find them. Until then, we'll get the guy. Uh, we'll let this castle get some rest. You've completed the demo. You can import your completed save data into the whole. Ah, oh, so that is the end. God damn it! Uh, so this conference should be the demo, a special reward, and the smart device Pikmin. Ah, uh, we'll do it later. Oh, we're gonna need Oh my god! Sorry. Um, so with that, we will raid into... Put music back on. It's been a while, so let's read Phil Motter. I cannot remember their name. All right. So with that, um, I guess on Thursday we'll be playing something else. Um, so I have two games that I'm kind of debating if I want to play. One is called Chained. Uh, it is a, it's kind of like the PS1 horror demo disc that we played, but it's like each creator made a horror game and at the end of it, there's one of two choices that you can make that will let you play a different horror game that somehow is chained together with the last one. But the only kind of context the creator had for that game was a rough explanation of what happened in the last game. So that seemed to like a really cool thing, but also I found this game on Game Pass called Arcade Paradise where you run a laundromat while trying to kind of build an arcade to prove that, like, the father who gave you the laundromat, um, that you can run a business and be successful with it and kind of prove them wrong. And that's that's been, like, really fun. So, on Thursday, we'll either be playing one of those two, but until then, tell Phil Motter I said hi, and have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.